in class number 17. And we are going to use some of the examples that we gave. Can you hear me well? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher, pero no la veo. Ah, hoy sí. Okay. No, I can hear you very well. Let's see here. I have a lot of people today. Very good. Let me show you the class so we can start. Remember, we are in class number 17, unit four. Estamos en la clase ya número 17, muy bien. 17, sí, 17. Ya casi vamos de salir a... Let's continue. Today I just received a picture from Emerson, Abidail, and Mr. Palma. For the others, I did not receive any pictures. De los demás no, no recibí nada. Teacher, había que mandarlo. Oh, just in case you wanted to be shown in the screens. Si querían que les mostrara aquí, sí. Pero si no, pues no. Ah, ok. No. Porque no soy buena para dibujar. Don't worry, don't worry. No fui al kinder. Ok, don't worry. Now we're going to... Porque hay que tener visual, visualización. We have Angela. Vamos a trabajar en los equipos ahorita. We have Angela, Eneida, Jennifer, Sandra, Juan Josué. No me sirve el audio. Me saldré volver a entrar. Ok, Pedrina, go ahead. And now we're going to make the breakout rooms. Right? We're going to work in groups right now. Vamos a terminar de trabajar en la conversación. I need you to tell me who was in your groups. Ok. Jennifer, no hay nada. ¿Ustedes escuchan lo que estoy diciendo, los demás? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ay, pensé que era yo, 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 porque no me escuchamos. Vale, veamos acá. In the first breakout room, I will have... ¿Quién estaba en su equipo, Ángela? Eh, Ricardo Gabriel. Ricardo Gabriel, ok. Man. Solo él y yo estábamos dos. Okay. Good night. Good night. How are you? Okay, Angela de Jesús. Eh, yes. Let's see. Eneida, who was in your group? Mm. ¿Quién estaba con usted? ¿Quién trabajaba con usted? Leida. Leida. Ey, ne, Neida. Leida Susana. Leida. Very good. Sandra Gladys, ¿quién estaba trabajando con usted? Pedrina. Pedrina. Ok, muy bien. En el room número 4, Francis, ¿quién estaba trabajando con usted? Juan Josué Hernández. Ok, muy bien. Emerson, me acuerdo que estaba Emerson. Eh, Mr. Palma en Abidail, right? Ok, muy bien. Let's see, Claudia, ¿con quién estaba? Con Nelson. Claudia en Nelson. Very good. En Nancy, Nancy, hello Nancy. Nancy se va a ir al equipo de... Tu, 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 tu de Nelson por el momento, ¿ok? Ok. Now, let's go ahead and I am going to add more people here. Right. So we can have. Ok. So let's go now. Vamos a trabajar un par de minutos solo para ya repasar and then we come back here. 
right? With the presentations, okay? With the dialogues, with the conversations. Vamos a ir, vamos a practicar un ratico. Vamos a ver la información que nos van a dar los compañeros. Cuando la tengamos, nos vamos de regreso, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Es con su equipo, participemos, terminemos, afinemos la tarea y luego venimos de regreso. Choose your groups. Jennifer, usted estaba con, 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 con Emerson, ¿verdad? Jennifer, escoja su grupo ahí. Juan Josué, Angela, choose your group. Angela, hello. You are supposed to work with Ricardo, but Ricardo is not here. Así que usted va a trabajar ahorita solita y va a decirnos las direcciones, ¿ok? Yo le voy a preguntar, okay, si no teacher. viene Ricardo, yo le voy a preguntar, where is this, where is that? ¿Ya hizo su imagen? ¿Su mapa? ¿Ya lo hizo? ¿Mm? Ok, very good. Take a, ok, take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp. To my WhatsApp, to my number. Okay, okay. ahorita. Vamos a ver si es. You said it? Ya le envió? Yes. Sí. Okay, very good. I received it, y esa es la que vamos a usar en la clase. Ok, very good, very good. Good job. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah. Ok, now I will go to another group, right, so they can start working together. Voy para otro equipo para que empiecen a trabajar, ok? Ok, teacher. Te voy you. a mandar a Nancy Me para salgo. acá. No, 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 no. Ah, no. vaya. Okay. Lo voy a mandar a Nancy. <risa> ok. Para que practique. Está bien, teacher, aquí le espero. Me salgo, dice. Ok. Sí. No se salga. <risa> Hi, Nancy. No, no, teacher. Hi, Nancy. Estamos trabajando, Nancy, en una actividad que quedó pendiente ayer, ¿verdad? En esa actividad es como una tarea que tenemos que, <risa> que, tenemos que presentar. Bueno, ustedes tienen que presentar, yo no. En esta tarea uh -huh. es utilizando prepositions of place, ¿ok? Eh, la niña eh, Angie ya terminó su tarea, solo está esperando que venga Ricardo para practicar. Entonces, ella le va a explicar a usted con la imagen, le va a explicar a usted de qué se trata eh, la tarea. Angie, go ahead. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿De qué se trata la tarea, Angie? Ah, eh, de, de hacer como un mapa para, de donde trabajamos, un de trabajo y ponerle las, eh, usar las preposiciones. Uh -huh. In from, in from, of, um, dependiendo, va, between, behind, um, de eso. Más que todo donde uno trabaja, o si no, si no querían, dijo la mister, si no queríamos ponerla en lugar de trabajo, 
que, que nos inventáramos algo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No Exacto. necesariamente tenía que ser. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. ¿Tenemos un ejemplo? I can see your picture here. Let me see here. I see the picture that Angie sent me. Por ejemplo, my place of work dice que tenemos en, in front of el pollo campero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, between en de farmacia San Nicolás en Banco Agrícola. Ese es mi ejemplo. Ok, very good. Very uh -huh. good, excellent. Eh. It's between, uh -huh. read it one more time. Eh, if my perfect word is at Cuarta Calle, yo ahí le puse Cuarta Calle Oriente, en in front of Pollo Campero, between Farmacia San Nicolás and Banco Agrícola. On 4th Street, 4th Street. Fourth, cuarta, fourth street. ¿Quién estaba en su equipo okay. ayer? ¿Con quién estaba usted trabajando ayer? Eh, permítame, ya ¿Yo? le digo. La Salia creo que era. Y la Salia no ha venido, mire qué raro. Okay. Me dijo Vaya. que ya se iba a conectar porque acabo de llegar y ya está enferma. Eh, pregúntele, pregúntele entonces con usted y Angie. Porque Angie ya tiene el suyo, o usted explique lo que tiene Angie. Nancy ahorita está de escucha. <ríe> ah, eh, Nancy, pay attention because I will ask you. Después le voy a preguntar a usted. ¿Ok? So pay attention. Mm -hmm. I will see you in one moment. Practique Ángela con Damián, Damián con Ángela, con, ah, con lo que han preparado. See you in a moment. Thank you. Eh, a la par de next to ajá a la par de Gea uh -huh. y quiero ver sí sería la par de Gea porque ella está trabajando según el map, el mapa que me dio uh -huh. y sí sería la par de Gea Ajá. Ok, how do you say a la par de, Neida? Practice it. ¿Cómo okay. dice a la par de? No diga solo a la par de, dígalo en inglés, porque okay. usted lo sabe. Sería entonces, it's next to the hair. Next to hair, very good. Next to hair. Next to hair. Exactly. Okay. Continue, Leida. Eh, podemos preguntar también de, del FONAP. Where is the FONAP? Where is the FONAP? Eh, it is. It is in front of Brook Hall. No, pero está en la calle. It, yeah. it is it's in a Bernal de from. Cambillas. It is on again, Leida. It is on Avenue o Avenida Bogambilla. Avenue. Es que está en esa calle. Avenue. Avenue Bogambillas in front of Grupo Ice and Gea El Salvador. Okay, it is on Bogambillas Avenue. El nombre va antes de Avenida. En español va a ser Avenue. Okay, Bogambillas Avenue. Pero está bien, entonces. It's on Bogambillas. Avenue, Avenue in front of Grupo Ice and Gea El Salvador. Exactly. Very good. That is perfect. That is perfect. Very good. Now, I will see you in one moment because. We... Oh, I think. Okay. 
Dijo, what is the phone app? Y dijo, it is on Apucambillas Avenues. Y from now, algo así, algo así. In front of phone app. Ok. From off. Did you finish? Did you finish? Terminaron? Hello, me escuchan? No me escuchan. Sí, teacher, le escuchamos. Ok. Did you finish the activity? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Gladys. What about the others? Did you finish the activity? Did you finish the practice? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Very Comenzando good. estaba yo. Comenzando estaba usted. Ok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ok, no we're going to tarde, practice. <laughs> Let's see here. Empezamos antes, empezamos antes. Let me see, there are... Okay. There are 15 people here in this classroom. Habemos 15 personas. Mm -hmm. Voy a poner un número acá y el que me adivine pasa primero. I have a, I'm going to put a number here. I'm going to put a number right now on my phone so you can see it, right? This number is a beautiful number for me, right? And you're going to tell me right here which number is it going to be, okay? Okay. It's a number between 1 and 15. Es un número entre el 1 y el 15. Okay? De dos a uno cifra. Ah? Now, Nine. let's start with Mr. Palma. You said number? 9. No. Claudia, give me a number. From 1 Two fifteen. What? What? One. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not one. Okay. Let's see. Emerson, give me a number from one Nine. to fifteen. You te has dicho, Mr. Palmayano. Eleven. No. Angie, no, Angie, no está Ricardo, no vamos a preguntar. Franco, give me a number uh, from 1 to 15. Number 7. No, Pedrina, 1 to 15. 4. Uh, um, no. Eneida, give me a number from 1 to 15. 11. No, ya me dijeron 11, no me haga trampa. Ah, perdón, ok. Give me another number. 15. No, Josué. Ahorita están abatidos, ¿verdad? Que no quieren decir ningún nombre. Josué, give me a number from 1 to 15. Number 2. Look. Number 2, my friend. Okay. Yo lo supuse imaginándome que, okay. que tenga dos bebés. No tengo ni, ni chucho. ¿eh? <laughs> Solo cuídate. <laughs> ok, very good. Josué, who is in your group? You Francis. are with Francis. Francis, hello, Francis. Now, Francis, tell me here, Francis. Hello. What? Hello, Francis. You're going to start with Juan Josué. Right. Do you have a picture to show us? ¿Tiene alguna imagen? Do you have a picture? ¿Tiene alguna imagen para mostrar? 
Sí. Ok. Compartan pantalla entonces. Yo la comparto, Francis. De un momento. Ok. La suya también lo voy a compartir. Okay. We can go and take a break for a moment. No. <laughs> Now the other ones, let us pay attention, right? Jennifer se fue. I know Jennifer. Chao, Francis. Okay, that's nice. Very good. I like it. We have Jerusalem Avenue. We had Don Pablo Street, Don Pablo. San Pablo Street, and Jerusalem Avenue. San Pablo Street and Jerusalem Avenue. Very good, excellent. We have the vet, painters, for the soul of the life, and post office. Okay. Army's Boulevard or Ejército Boulevard. Ejército Boulevard. Nombre propio no se lo vamos a cambiar. Ejército Boulevard. Okay, let's start. Dele, Francis. Okay. Which strip is the Pepsi on? It's on the... Uh, calle San Pablo and Boulevard del Ejército. Mm -hmm. okay. where, where is Pepsi? Okay, it's on the in front of Omni Life. And next to Pintura. Okay. Okay. Francis, where is the vet? Where is the vet, Francis? Where is the vet? De la misma imagen, Francis. Uh -huh. De la misma imagen, Francis. Ahí está la imagen en la, en la pizza, en la pizza, en la pizarra virtual. <ríe> Francis. Where is um, the best medical person? Uh -huh. Exactly. Mira, ahí le está mostrando Josué en la pizarra. Just, uh, in... Ahorita eh, it's, it's between, no, between, between Avenida eh, Avenue Jerusalem. Um, it is, okay, it is on. It is on. It, it is on. Jerusalem Avenue. Jerusalem Avenue. Um, Street San Pablo. En en San Pablo Street. En San Pablo Street. Very good, Francis. Very good job. Now, remember Josué and Francis. We put Jerusalem Avenue. San Pablo Street. Porque si dicen San Pablo Strip, Strip es otra cosa. Okay? Strip es allá por la 
por el redondel más barrer, ok, por los tacos, exacto. Right. Strip es otra cosa, vamos a decir street, street. 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 At the end, street. everyone, please repeat, street. 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 Very good. Per street. Perdón, teacher. Perdón, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, yo, por ejemplo, le mandé el mapa a Josué, ¿verdad? Y ahí, por ejemplo, en mi dirección aparece la B. Y nueve calle poniente, y ya traduciéndolo, como que no existe poniente, no que aparece 29 West uh, Avenue. Ok, one, one thing that is very, very important. One thing that is very important. Las, hay dos cosas que vamos a respetar para no traducir. Definitivamente no las podemos traducir. Son las direcciones. Y los nombres propios. ¿Ok? Esos son, por ejemplo, a veces eh, tenemos a alguien que se llama eh, Francisco y le decimos Frank. O alguien que se llama Miguel y le decimos Mikey o Michael. ¿verdad? Sí, le podemos decir así de una forma informal, ¿verdad? Pero siempre su nombre va a ser Miguel aquí en la China, en la Conchinchina, en Minnesota, en Nueva York. Su nombre es Miguel. Por ejemplo, Juan Josué puede ser Joshua, right? Joshua Hernández. Perfect. Pero su nombre es Josué. Entonces no lo cambiamos. Lo mismo pasa con las direcciones, porque si usted traduce una dirección y dice, ah, voy a comprar en Amazon o en eBay, I'm going to buy, ¿qué? Eh, voy a comprar un teléfono en Amazon. Y Amazon es una tienda estadounidense. Y si usted dice, ah, para que me entiendan, voy a traducir mi, mi dirección. Y usted la traduce. Jamás, nunca le va a llegar el teléfono. Porque como las direcciones son nomenclaturas, las nomenclaturas de los países, entonces no cambian. En este caso, nosotros lo único que estamos haciendo es ponerle San, eh, Juan Pablo, ¿verdad? Juan Pablo Street, Jerusalén Avenue. ¿verdad? Pero si usted va a dar una dirección, siempre va a ser Avenida Jerusalén. Okay. Por eso 29 calle Oriente no existe. Eso existe solo en El Salvador. Por eso no hay traducción al inglés. Aunque la palabra Oriente sí existe. The West and the East. The North and the South. Example, eh, 29 West Strip. Así sería la traducción, pero no se va a utilizar así en la vida real. En la vida real es la 29 calle Oriente. Así calle se un calle poniente, así se va la decisión. Uh -huh. o sea, Las únicas palabras. ¿Cómo? Nosotros los salvadoreños somos los que ponemos esos nombres así en el inglés, no existe. En inglés no existen calle poniente, calle oriente, todo eso no existe, solo en nuestra nomenclatura. No es que esté mal, esa es la nomenclatura de nuestro país. Uh -huh. En otros países existe otra distinta. Bueno, en todos, pero bien. ¿Ok? Very good. Okay. Pero sí, esa, esa sería la traducción, digámoslo. De, 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 lo único que vamos a traducir son avenidas, avenue, es calle, street, eh, redondel, roundabout. Palabras que son bien generales y que no están especificando absolutamente nada. ¿Ok? okay. Very good, Francis and Juan. Juan, choose another person. Escoja uno de sus compañeros acá. En lo que escoge, yo voy a pasar la lista. Porque pues sí. Please choose one person. El amigo Nelson. El amigo Nelson en Claudia. <ríe> la Claudia bien brava. <ríe> you look pretty today, Claudia. Prettier than every day. Prettier than every day. Más bonita que siempre. En lo que es, comparten la imagen, Claudia y Nelson, voy a pasar eh, asistencia. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Presente, teacher. Present. La, thank you. Claudia Jenner Ramos Hernández. Present, teacher. David Ernesto Quitanía Martínez. Teacher. Ya le escuché, Ángela. David Ernesto Quintana Martínez. Ok. <ríe> Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Me llama la conexión, teacher. teacher. 
<laughs> and Neida Jasmine Hernandez Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernandez Valle. Present teacher. Franco Damian Vázquez. Present teacher. Juan Josué Hernandez Hernandez. Juan Josué. Present teacher. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Leida. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Presente. Thank you. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Y Josué, José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Present okay. teacher. Thank you. Now let's start and let's listen to our classmates. That's a beautiful map. That's a beautiful map. We have there different places. Right? And let's start. Let's see what you have. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, I start. Uh, where is the part of Hikilis? Hikilis. Okay, one more time, Nelson. Repeat the question one more time. Okay. Where is the part of Hikilisco? Mm -hmm. Where is the part of Hikilisco? Oh. Hi. It is on First Avenue North in front of Municipality of Higilisco. Okay, very good. In front of Municipality of Higilisco. Very good. Continue. Uh, what is the municipal market? Uh, Yes? Nelson? Where is the municipal market? It is, it is on 14 de December Street and Second North Avenue it is Behind. It is behind. Behind what? Behind Transito de Maria Parish. Very good. Transito de Maria Parish. Claudia, where is Agricola Bank? Where is Agricola Bank? Uh, it is on. Uh, First Avenue North. It is on First Avenue North. Okay, very good. It is on First Avenue North. Okay, where is a uh, Caja de Crédito San Agustin, Nelson? It, it is on Fifth First Street is and Joaquin Pineda Avenue uh, next to Miracle, it, it is next to Miracle Store. Excellent job, very good. It's next to Miracle Store. 
Excellent job, guys. Very good. Do you want to add more questions? Querían enviar más preguntas ustedes? Ya es todo. That's it. Give them an applause. Very good. Very good. Remember to change the names. Okay. Tequilisco City Hall. Tequilisco City Hall. Let me put it in the chat for everyone. Tequilisco City Hall. La alcaldía, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Tequilisco City Hall. Okay. Claudia, choose another person. Todo va a pasar, no creo que va a pasar. Uh, Eneida. Eneida and Leida. Yes, teacher. Alcaldía, chicos, City Hall. Caja de crédito, caja de crédito. Okay. Okay, let's see. ¿Quién comparte pantalla? Ni a Leida, ni a Eneida. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Yo Okay. Este sería uh -huh. esta, pero la voy a expandir ahorita. Yes, please, please. Okay, wait. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Hay mucho. Va, ahí está. Ese es el mapa que dio Leida porque no lo logré cortar, pero eso es de ella. Ahorita la veo. Le está echando la culpa en ella. Es que yo le busqué el mapa en Google Maps y no aparece nada de lo que ella dice. Ajá, entonces ella sabía más el lugar, entonces hicimos eso. Don't worry, don't worry, it's ok. okay. Inicio yo o inicio la idea. Cualquiera de las dos. ¿Ya? Ok. Va, me yo. Excuse me, Leida. ¿Where uh -huh. is your workplace? Um, workplace. Eh, you work in here, El Salvador. Excuse me. Where is your workplace? It's in Gea El Salvador. It is it is in between between of Grupo Ise and Embajada de Panamá. Y... Another question. Otra pregunta, ok. Which, which street is the Embassy Panama? Which street is no the repeat. Embassy? Which street in the Embassy of Panama? It, it's in next to here El Salvador. Yes. Oh. Now, now Leida, Leida, please ask uh, Eneida. Eneida, where is the Fonat? It is on uh Bungambilians Avenues from of Fonat. Sí, from Fonat. Sí. Okay. No, listen, Eneida. Where uh -huh. is Fonat? Where is Where Fonat? Is Fonat? No me puede decir ah. dónde está Fonat diciéndome dónde está Fonat. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. La pregunta es, where is Fonat? Yes. It is on yes. Billions Avenue. It is on Bunga Village Avenue. Okay. In front of? In front of. In front of what? Enfrente de qué? Grupo Hea. 
Es el grupo GEA. Next to the tree. Miren, hay un bolito y le he puesto la ley. Next to the tree. <laughs> ok, very good. Very good. Now listen to this. Leida, where is GEA El Salvador? Where is Gea El Salvador? It's in between. It is between. Uh, between what? Between Grupo Ice and Embajada de Panama. Okay. Panama Embassy. Panama's Embassy. Embassy. I'm going to put it in the chat. Embajada para todos en el chat. Embassy. Embassy. Okay. U.S. Embassy. Mexico Embassy. Italian Embassy. Get there on the plus. Very good. Very good. Let's continue. Eneida, choose another person. Or Leida, choose another person. Ya solo les queda Mr. Palma, Emerson, Abidail. Les queda Sandrita, Pedrina, Franco y Azalia. 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 Go ahead, Ay, Azalia. Lo siento, Azalia. Azalia en Franco. Ok. Who is going to share the screen? La voy a querer más, Eneita. Gracias, Eneita. <ríe> ok. Ok, Azalia. Eh, with the street, bueno, ahorita no sé si vamos a compartir la. Uh -huh. You can share. Good. Todos tienen permiso para compartir ahorita. Ok, en el mapa, ¿verdad? Hicimos nuestro mayor esfuerzo ya que yo no he estado bien de salud eh, y Franco me ha ayudado muchísimo. Excelente. Prácticamente lo ha hecho. Tranquila, tranquila. A la próxima usted lo toca. <risa> en la próxima usted se lo toca. Franco es no. que yo hice uno, yo hice uno, <risa> pero, pero él había hecho también, entonces me pareció mejor el Hay que ayudarnos cuando se puede. <risa> Let's see. Me avisa. Es que no, no estoy conectada en la, en la, en la laptop. Estamos listos, teacher. Go ahead. No veo nada todavía. Es, es que no la tengo en la laptop, o sea, solo en el celular ahorita y no, y no me conecté a esa web. Ahorita. Vamos a ver. Franco, do you have it? Lo que pasa es que yo solamente en el celular estoy y se lo Send mandé. Send it to my chat. Send it to my chat. Quick. Send it to my chat. Envíenme el chat rapidito. Rita. Vamos uh -huh. a ver. Un tip. Pueden abrir WhatsApp en la compu. Uh -huh. No solo en el celular. Uh -huh. Guys, I'm falling asleep. Ok, thank you very much. Uy, al del grupo no. Yo conozco cuál es cuál. ¿Cómo que no vas a ver? Ya se lo, ya se lo envié. Ya tú, ya tú, ya tú, ya lo recibí. Ok. So I'm going to share right here the computer. Give me one moment. Okay. 
you guys see the computer now? That's the yeah. map. Okay. Yes. Very yes. Good. Okay. Number one. Okay. Tell me. Which street is the Carvajal packaging on? On. Okay, the Carvajal packages. It is on Calle Circunvalación or Circunvalación Street. Where is the Vivero Botanil Garden? Garden. Okay. No sé, no sé. Garden, yes. Botanical Garden. Excellent. ¿Así está bien? The, the Botanical Garden it is from of Profasa Building. Okay, very good. Okay. Where is Prefasa building? Okay. Uh, if you are next to uh, Industrial Sac, if you are there, you go along the street on the corner um, in front of the Vivero, uh, the Garden Botanico. There is a professor building. From here to here. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Where... Continue. Okay, okay. Where is the Vivero Botanical Garden? Okay. Where is the Vivero Botanical Garden? Okay. Where is the Vivero Okay. If you are in Professor Building, you go straight after turn right and it is next to Grupo Carosa. Very good. Very good. I get to call you that teacher. Very good. Excellent work. Excellent work. Excellent. You're giving me directions. That's perfect. Not only others. That is very good. Now, let me see one more. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I hope you're taking notes. We have more vocabulary. Clinica, right? Clinic, right? Clinic. Clinic. Sorry, dice Gabriel. Ya tiene cero la niña. Ángela, por su culpa. Okay, we say clinic, right? Clinic. Clinic. Antiguo Cusatlán Clinic. Clinic. Right? Clinic. For example. ¿Y quién va a pasar ahorita? Franco, diga un nombre. ¿Cuáles están disponibles? <risa> Palma. Eh, Gladys. Pedrina. Eh, Abidail. Gabriel. En mm -hmm. Angie. Ok. ¿Qué pasa, Gabriel? Yo sé que él quiere pasar. <risa> Okay. Very good. Very good. So with Gabriel, I have the picture with Gabriel and and Angie right here. I have the picture. Give me a moment. <clears throat> Let me share here. You ready, Gabriel? And okay. Can you see the picture? I don't. Yes, but I don't practice with Angie. Don't worry. She can ask you. You can ask her. Let's practice. Con lo poquito que sabemos, veamos el mapa y tratemos de ubicarnos. Okay? No se preocupe. Esta es práctica. No, no se poniendo nota. No se preocupe. <laughs> Where is right? I... You ask her or Angie can ask you. Usted le pregunta a Angie o Angie le puede preguntar a usted. Eh... Um... Angie, can you tell me where is Pizza Hut? Qué rico donde trabaja la Angie. Um... 
<risa> eh, uh -huh. eh, it is on cuarta calle oriente in um um <laughs> and in front of um pollo campero in front of pollo campero okay in front of pollo campero between between um, Farmacia San Nicolás and Banco Agricola. Okay, is it in front of Pollo Campero? Pizza Hut is in front of Pollo Campero? Está ah, enfrente okay. del Pizza Pollo Campero? Ah, no, está uh, next to, sí, lo <laughs> next to, Pollo next Campero. Next to what? Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. eh, eh, on Cuarta Calle Oriente. On Fourth Street. Okay, very on good. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. good. Yes. Where is, where is, eh, Ricardo, where is Banco Agrícola? Eh. Banco Agrícola is uh, next to work to Angie from um, uh, Impresa de Repuestos on uh, Cuarta Calle. Okay, very good, very good. Now. Yo le acabo de mandar mi imagen también. Usted la acaba de enviar. <laughs> That's a study at English, is that yours? Oh, no, that's Nancy's. Okay, now let me ask you here. Ya tengo un montón. Yes. Usted es el del CNR. Yes. Okay. <laughs> let me put here. Angie, Night. one more question before I, I show Ricardo's. Angie, where is your work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm, my, uh, my work is in Cuarta Calle Oriente in, uh -huh. in front um Pollo Campero in front of um, between in front of, in front of, of, of Pollo Campero between um Farmacia San Nicolás and Banco Agrícola. Exactly. Very good job. Very good job. Now let me let me put here the next one, okay? Let me open this other one for Mr. Ricardo. Mr. Ricardo, you gotta work in teams, Mr. Ricardo. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Yes. Angie, pay attention because I will ask you about yes. this too, okay? Where do you work, Ricardo? Where do you work? I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. Okay, where is, where is Distribuidora Salvadoreña? Distribuidora Salvadoreña eh, it is on uh, Avenida San Martín, uh -huh. eh, from um, eh, CNR at eh, Industrias Monte Carlo. Okay, very good. Where is Sherwin Williams, Ricardo? Sherwin Williams, eh, eh, on the corner, eh, Avenida San Martín, and Octava Calle Poniente. Okay. Next to Cafe. Next to the cafe. Okay, very good. Angie, look at the map. Where is Industrias Monte Carlo. Industrias Monte Carlo. It is um, Avenida San Martín. Uh -huh. 
Uh, next to CNR. Next to CNR, okay. It is next to CNR. Very good job, guys. Give an applause to yourself. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Now we're only missing one group, I think. Right, we're only missing Mr. Palma, Emerson, and Abidail. But I think Abidail is not here. Oh, yeah, Abidail, hello. Okay. Ya pasamos. No, no, hay que ver. Okay, <laughs> let me show the pictures here. Oh, my. Oh. Emerson yeah. me enseñó ayer. Sobre esto estaba perdida en una de esas direcciones. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but don't worry, this is difficult. So which one should I show, uh, Mr. Emerson? ¿Cuál muestro? ¿Cuál de todas? Yes. Give me a moment. Oh, I, oh Mr. Palm is sharing the screen. But dele, Mr. Palm. Por eso que no me salía nada. <risa> Avise, señor. Aquí <Thank> me. <risa> Go ahead, Mr. Palma. Eh, Emerson. Pero no está mostrando la, la pantalla todavía, el, el mapa. Eh, no. No. Para ahorita. Ahorita. Yo. Nada. Está mostrando Zoom. Ahí. Peor. ¿Veis? Deje de compartir y vuelvo a compartirle la imagen. Bye. Now, yes, I can see logistics and transportation company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Emerson, where is a gas station? It is on sea 8 in front of it is front of car wash okay Jennifer ask me a question <laughs> very good Silver coffee. Where is silver coffee? It is uh, near pharmacy. It is near and pharmacy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next to shop. Shop and restaurant. Okay. What is the electrical substation, Mr. Palma? What is? The electrical substation. This map is very pro. Mm, thank you. Eh, lo hizo Emerson. Pégalenelo para la clase. Bueno, ese lo mando. <risa> eh, <risa> eh, is what is station? Electrical substation is right here. De Panamá. 
Hayek Street. It's on Hayek Street. Uh -huh. uh, next to? Next to the Transportation Company. No. Uh, next to? Next to the shop. Next to the shop. Very good. Next to the shop. In front of, in front of the logistics and transportation company. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other question, Emerson? Emerson, where is, where are the restaurants? Where are the restaurants? Um. It is on. They Hayate are Street. on. They are uh, restaurants. Mm -hmm. They are on Hayaka Street. It is, are, is. Uh, they are. are they, they are. They are front of car wash. They are in front of the car wash. Very good. Very good. Look at this map. Look at this map. Everyone, look at this map. Okay. It looks. Okay, mostramos el otro. El otro mapa, Mr. Palma. Eso no lo tengo. <laughs> eh, teacher, es eso un... los tiene usted. Yes. Si nos hace okay. el favor. Please. Yes. Estamos a ocupar. Look at this map. Okay. Everyone, but next time I will ask questions, okay? I will ask house number one, house number, huh? Josue, hello, Josue, wake up. Josue, look at the map and tell me where is the Neveria. Get ready, Francis, because I will ask you to. Ah, okay. Uh, Josue, where is it, the Neveria? It is on the... Uh, between shop and hardware store. Excellent job. It is between the shop and the hardware store. Excellent. Uh, Eneida. Eneida, where is the library? Okay. It is next to Credit box, San Agustin. Very good. It is next to Credit box, San Agustin. Caja de Credit San Agustin. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, Aneida. Abidail, where is the church? Oh. Uh, it is on... Uh, next to Neveria. Oh, yeah, it is next to the Neveria. Yes, it's big. Okay. And Abidail, this is your map. So, where is the mall? Where is the mall? Yes, Abidail, where okay. is the mall? Pero, señora. Ah, ya, ya. It is on Segunda Avenue. It is on Second Avenue. Okay. What else? Next to what? In front of what? On the corner of. Tell me. Tell me more. To house three. Dígame más. Dígame más. Ya me dijo que acá está. Ahora utilicemos una proposition. In front of the supermarket. In front of yeah. the supermarket. Very good. Very good job. Very good job. 
Now we're going to listen to the last two people, Pedrina and Sandra. We finish with them and we're going to go with another topic. No va a ser la última vez que van a ver preposiciones de lugar, ¿ok? We're going to see more of that in, creo que en el curso 6. Sí, curso 6. So be ready. Pedrina and Sandra, let's go ahead and start. Se me olvidó, Francis, espérenme. Permítanme, Francis. Francis dijo que quería participar otra vez. Francis, where, oh, is, where is house number five? Como 30 casas. Eh. Between house four and house six. Okay. It is between house four and house six. Very good. Bien fácil la que le pregunté. Okay, good. Thank you, Francis. Thank you. Eso como estaba durmiendo. Exactly. <laughs> como Josué. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see. Pedrina and Sandra, and then we'll go to another topic. Quickly. Compartan imagen. Pues usted, Pedrina, yo no puedo compartir. Estoy en el cel. Yo nunca lo he hecho. ¿Quieren usar el mapa? Présteme el sí. mapa. Présteme el mapa, chicos, que acabamos de ver. No se van a salvar. <risa> Here you are. Here you are. Aquí tienen. Here you are. Así van a decir, chicos. Cuando dicen, aquí está. Aquí tienen esto. Here you are. Aquí se lo voy a poner en el chat. Here you are. Vale, comiencen. Pregúntense entre ustedes. Empieza usted, Sandra. Eh, eh. Ok. Ok. Eh, where you... Where, where is, you are... Where, where is, is... Where is Nevería. Where is Nevería. Eh, it is... On, it's no next to shop. It is next to the shop. Okay, very good. It is next to the shop. Excellent. Continue. Oh, le hago una yo, Sandra. Yes. Vaya. Yes. We, we, where is? What where? is where? Eh, café. Where is the café? Please repeat, Pedrina. Where is the café? Okay, the cafe is uh, of, from of sure. The cafe uh, is in front of the church. Mm, I think it's, remember what we use? What? The cafe is? The cafe is from no. Of two. Behind. Behind. Behind the church. Ah, uh, behind. Okay. Uh, the cafe behind the church and next to house one. Very good. Next yes. to house number one. Okay. Very good, girls. Very good. Now. We're going to continue practicing. Thank you, Pedrina. Thank you, Sandra. We're going to continue practicing here with another topic that I want you to take a look at, okay? Remember, today is class number 17. We have this topic here. We are going to have the use of there is and there are plus quantifiers, okay? There is, there are plus quantifiers. We're going to use there is and there are to express or to describe how many things we have in a place. For example, I want you to pay attention to me. There are, there are two computers in my room, in my office. There are two 
computers in my office. Okay. There is a door. Look at my door. There is a door in my office. There is a door in my office. There is a cell phone in my office. Okay. There is oh. There is a box. There is a box on my desk. There is a pair of scissors in my office. There is a pair of scissors in my office. Okay. Now, what do you have in your room? We are going to use there is to describe one thing. There is one cell phone. We are going to use there are to talk about more than one. There are two laptops in my office, okay? What do you have in your office? Or what do you have in your room, in your house? There is one TV in my house. There is one refrigerator in my house. What about yours, Ricardo? How many, how many TVs do you have? There are two TVs. There are two TVs? Very good. There are two TVs. Excellent. Franco, how many windows do you have? Windows? Do you know the meaning of windows? Windows. Ventanas. How many windows do you have in your house? Franco? Franco me escucha. In my house, yes. Uh -huh. In my house, there is two windows. There are? There are two windows. Exactly, very good. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Uh, Emerson. <laughs> Emerson, how many radios are there in your house? In my house are there are there radios. are mm -hmm. repeat there are two radios there are two radios very good how many sofas do you have in your house Angie how many I how many sofas um, there are? Four. Four sofas, okay. What about sofas you, Nelson? In How my many house, in my house? Okay. How many chairs do you have in your house? Excuse me, short? Chairs. Chairs oh. are the things where we sit. For example, I, I just stood up. This is a chair. I am going to choose to use a chair and I sit. Donde nos sentamos. Ah, Chairs. Okay. Chairs. There, there are uh, five chairs. Okay. Five chairs. Chairs. Porque si chairs. No chairs como camisetas. Uh -huh. Chairs. Chairs. Okay, there are five chairs. Sandra. Hi. How many cell phones are there in your house? In my house, there are three cell phones. Very good job. Claudia, how many children are there in your house? There how is, many children? Uh, <laughs> there is a... Uh, one children in my house. There is one children in my house. Very good. There is one children in my house. Francis, how many hammocks are there in your house? Hammocks. Hamacas. 
do you have in your house? How many? One, two, three, four, five. There is. There is. There is me. Uh -huh. How much means a maca? There is. There is, there is what? Okay, Wong. Francis. There is, one there is one hammock in my house, okay? How many, look at my screen, how many hammocks are there in your house? Right? Are there in your house? Then we're going to use, there is one hammock in my house. But what if you have more? ¿Quién tiene más hamacas? ¿Quién tiene más de una? Nadie tiene más de una. Okay. Okay, how many hammocks are there in your house? There is... There, is, there, there, are two. there are two, okay. There are two hammocks in, my, in house. my house. Very good. In my house. I need you to pay attention to this because it's, this is very, very important, okay? Now, ya sabemos que hammocks es hamacas, okay? Ya sabemos eso. Now, okay. in this case, we are going to pay attention to the following information, okay? Here we have there and there, okay? Eso normal, no nos importa, right? What we're going to pay attention to is what we use here at the time that we practice with the verb, okay? What happens to the verb here? With the verb, we have is, and sorry, we have is, right? And we have are. Silvia, pero como vamos a saber si los dos son there and there? The only way for us to know is when we have this part. Okay? This part is singular, this part is plural. Dependiendo del que le sigue. Usualmente usamos there is and there are porque el sujeto nos dice si es plural o singular. ¿Ok? She is, she es singular. Pero acá lo vamos a hacer a la inversa. Vamos a fijarnos en lo que está después del verbo. No lo que está antes del verbo. Porque lo que está antes no nos sirve ahorita. Right? Lo que nos sirve para saber si es plural o singular y el verbo va a ser is or are, va a ser lo que está después de ellos. En este caso, one hammock. What if I put here, I'm going to put here another example. There. Okay. Can you listen to the rooster? O en el gallo. <laughs> rooster. Yeah, rooster. There. Ya está amaneciendo. Ah, vale, qué <laughs> We have there six children in the classroom. What am there I are. going to use? There? There are. There are. There are. Uh, Very good. There are six children in the classroom. Children. Right? Where I say there. Uh, 
be a lot of eating. What am I going to use here? There are a lot of people in Metro Center. What do you think am I going to use here, Emerson? There is. There is. Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué dice la Sandra? No. ¿Por qué? Oh, no, uh -huh. sería R. Why R? Pero R. ¿por qué R? A eh, lot of people. There is. ¿Por qué there is? A lot. No. There, there is a lot of people. Pero que es un grupo de personas. Muchas personas. There is. There is a lot of people. There is a lot of people. There are a lot of people. Dice personas, no personas. Okay. Pero lot of, but lot of grupo. Okay, now, in are... this case, okay, what's the answer? There is, there is. There are. There people. is. Quiero escuchar a, a Stalia, ¿por qué there is? Porque es uno, es un grupo. Uh -huh. Es un grupo. Yes. There is a group of people, no. No. There are a lot of people. People, people is the plural form of person. Okay. A lot of people, a lot of is telling me this one, a lot of is telling me that is more than one. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's telling me that it's more than one. A lot of people. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one hundred people. Right? There are a lot of people in Metro Center. Okay? It would be different if we put there. Sorry. There is a group of people. A group of people. Right? Un grupo de personas. Un grupo. Nos estamos refiriendo al grupo como un todo. Right? There is a group of people in Metro Center. That would be different. Sí, pero son un montón, Silvia. Sí, son un montón. El grupo de personas. Pero acá nos queremos hacer en énfasis en el grupo. Como, como una parte completa. No individual. ¿Ok? When we Sería say there are one. What? Sería there are. There are a lot of people in Metro Center. Exactly. We have there are and we have there are. Okay. Miren acá cómo nos van a ayudar los números, los quantifiers y los quantifiers a entender cómo vamos a utilizar there is and there are. Is that clear right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sigamos yes. practicando. Let's keep practicing. I'm going to show you one example here. And we're going to do, well, let's take a look at the examples here on the, that the book gives us. The book is giving us some examples where there is and there are. Look at this. We have the examples. There is an ATM across the street. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is no clothing factory around the corner, right? Usualmente, vamos a decir, there isn't, right? There isn't, pero en vez de decir there isn't, en esta opción de gramática, vamos a decir, there's no. There's no, in my, in my city, there's no movie theater. In my city, there's no movie theater, right? There is no uh, Banco de América Central in my city, right? There's no, no existe, no hay. Right? Then we go with there are. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. 
Okay. There are no hospitals on Valley Street. Now, we have this. These guys, a lot of some and no are quantifiers. Okay. And a uh, no are quantifiers too. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the exercise that we have here. This is complete the exercise with there is or there are in a quantifier. The quantifier in some of them is given, right? So we have here one marketing presentation across the street, recruitment centers, banks behind. Here, you're going to put there is, there are in a quantifier. For example, let's see here. Uh, Let's try Angie. What could be the answer here? Marketing presentation. Mm. Is that plural mm. or singular? Uh, sing singular. Okay, so what is the answer? Uh, there is. There is. Is. Um, your, what is Marketing. the quantifier? Okay, what could be the one the quantifier? Um, there is marketing presentation, does it? Yes. Like what is going there to is be market. how many marketing presentations? Quantas marketing presentations do you think is there in the oration? Para mí, o una teacher. Ok, ¿cómo decimos, ¿cómo decimos una en la oración? One de A. Ah. ah, very is, good. There is a marketing presentation. Marketing very good, presentation. Angie. Okay. That's what we're going to do. There is a marketing presentation across the street. Please take a screenshot for the, for the exercise, for the answer. Okay. There is in the quantifier. Now, we're going to work in groups, okay? We're going to work in groups to go ahead and finish this exercise. It's pretty easy, but let's see what happens, okay? We're going to work with other people right now. Okay, so let's start right now. Let's get to work. Your groups are being open right now. You have five minutes to complete this activity, five minutes only. Choose your groups, please. Sandra, Josue, Leida. Sandrita, choose your group. Hello, any questions? Hi, teacher. Hi, do you have any questions? Um, por ejemplo, en, en la cuatro, uh -huh. ahí como dice, o sea, menciona más varias cosas. Yo digo que sería there, there are. Okay. In number? Porque no lo, no lo dice en la four. ¿Cuál? Number four. Okay. Store on the corner. Of Vaya. The... Yo le quiero preguntar algo. La palabra store, ¿es singular o plural? 
es singular. Ok, porque va a poner there are entonces. Um, yo decía porque como no es solamente una cosa, sino que son... ¿Cuáles son las otras cosas? Solo dice store. Sí, es verdad, porque es, la, es una dirección. La otra es la dirección. Ah, ok. Exacto, en la calle de la Ruso y en la segunda avenida. Sí, Pero sí. eso no nos importa. Lo que nos importa es el sustantivo que está después de there is in there are. Y este, en este caso es store. Y store, store. es singular. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? There is. There is. ¿Y cuál es el quantifier que nos está dando el libro? There is a store. Mm. There is. Ahí nos está diciendo la palabra. El, el, nos está diciendo una palabra, un quantifier. There is the store. No, there is no. Ahí dice, mire. There is no store. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. No store. There is no store. Sandra, are you there? Sandrita. Ni okay. la había visto. <laughs> There is no yes. store. Okay. Keep practicing, eh, Asalia. Fíjese bien en la okay. palabra. Okay. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. Thank Nos vemos en un momento. Gracias. Dira. Do you need some help? No. Uh, there is recruitment center. I was looking. The number three would be there is. Why? Is he sleeping? <laughs> Dice recruitment centers. Recruitment centers. Recruitment center. Como reclutamiento, no. Centro de reclutamiento. Uh -huh. Pero no lo traduzca, no lo necesita traducir. Solo fíjese si es plural o singular. No lo traduzca, no lo necesita traducir para este ejercicio. Okay. Recruitment centers. Mm -hmm. Is that plural or singular? Singular. ¿Por qué singular? Porque... Porque es un centro. Uh -huh. okay. Un centro. Uh -huh. Ok, pero dice recruitment centers. Centers. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ah, ah, yeah. ah, yeah. Centers. Yeah, yeah. They, they are. ¿Cómo? They are. They are. They are. No, no estamos usando they are ahorita. There. There. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. Mm -hmm. are. Number four. Okay. Number four. Yeah. ¿Cuál es el noun que van a ver? En la esquina. Esto... En la esquina, no, la esquina no nos importa. Solo nos importa el sustantivo. ¿No? ¿Por qué va a haber la dirección? La dirección no nos importa. El sustantivo que va después del verbo. ¿Cuál es el sustantivo que va a ir después del verbo acá? No, porque es la corner. Esa es dirección, no es sustantivo. O no es preposición, no es sustantivo. ¿Cuál es, Francis? No nos dejes solos aquí. Dándonos contra la pared. The corner. ¿Por qué de corner? Si esa es dirección, eso no es sustantivo. Eso siendo algo perdido que no me lo he podido meter en el chip de las el sujeto, el sustantivo, el verbo. 
¿Por qué no? Si lo vemos todos los días. Pero ya, ya ve. En eso estoy luchando. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? Now, I want you to show... I'm, I am going to share right now, okay? Store on the corner of... Okay. Can you see my white screen? Yes. Okay. Look at this. I want you to, to pay attention to this. It says the store. Okay. There. And pay attention. There is no store on the corner of, of what? Lea de nuevo, que no me recuerdo. In the corner of? Of Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Ahí se con Avenue. Se con Avenue. Ok, Francis diga Street. Strip. No, usted está diciendo Strip. Strip es como, como <risa> las señoritas <risa> que se encuentran allá por el Masterrer. No. <coughs> Tiene que decirlo como T al final. Street. street. No cierre los labios. No, street. usted está diciendo strip. No, street. Street. Exacto. Street. street. Very good. Very good. Roosevelt Street. Dígalo. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Roosevelt Street. Very good. Much better. <coughs> vale, voy a dejar solo esto porque no, no quiero confundirlos. Now look at look at this. Look at this. In this case, what we're going to do is that we're going to pay attention to the noun that is going to be after after the verb. The verb is this. Right? This is the verb. The verb to be. Right? No is the quantifier. Okay. The word no is the quantifier. So we're gonna put this, right? And the quantifier, right? The word is and a store, they work together, okay? They are working together. So that's why they are in the same color. Si la palabra store estuviera en plural, dijera stores. Entonces, como si yo tuviera stores, yo aquí le tengo que cambiar a there are, right? There are no stores on the corner of Roosevelt Street, right? Y ese no, perdón, teacher, y ese no, ¿por qué va ahí? Este no es un quantifier. Y este no nos está diciendo que no hay. Los quantifiers nos dicen qué cantidad de aquel sustantivo tenemos en un lugar. Mm. En este caso, no, no hay. No. Right? This yeah, is a quantifier. Right. A quantifier. Lo demás que yo tengo, a mí no me importa en este momento, porque no me sirve de nada para saber si uso the is or the are. The rest of the sentence is a complement. ¿Ok? Es lo complemento. Entonces, en esto sí tiene sentido, sí es importante, pero no para este ejercicio. ¿Ok? Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go, let's go, let's go right now because we need to go with the others. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, how was the practice? How was the practice? Very good. Very good, okay. Okay, very good. Solo Franco hizo la práctica. Y yo no, porque... Fine, okay, very good. Teacher, the attendance. Tenemos, tenemos Ahí se están atentos. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, y la vamos a pasar al final, Claudita. O sea, al final. Ya de todos me faltan 20. Now, how was the practice? No hay en grillos usted. 
No, teacher. Ya hay un grillo, ya está manejando, teacher, nos pasamos. A tres de la mañana. Ok. Let me ask you right now. No pasó la lista. Ahorita a las 10 la vamos a pasar. Antes que se vayan, para que no se vayan, como ayer, ser la persona que se fue antes. No nos dimos cuenta. Que se fue. Eh, no Pero no así. le voy a decir. Ah, que sí. No le voy a decir eh. que es la Nancy. Ok. <risa> ah, pues para hacerla ya, para irme ya. No. Oh. <risa> ok. Look at this, this exercise. We know that the first one is there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. What about number two? Eh, Pedrina. Yes. Eh, there is a, a marketing presence across the street in the morning. Okay, that's correct. What about okay. number two? Pedrina? Sí. Pedrina, number yes. two. Ah, okay. There, there are some businesses working down the street. There are some, repeat after me, Pedrina. Okay. There are some business workshops. There, there are, are there are some business workshops. Business question. Business business workshops. Workshops. Down the street. Down the street. Very good. A street. A street. Ok, no. Escuchen todo. Cuando decimos la palabra street, no cerramos la boca, porque llaman varios que van a hacer lo mismo. Ok, street es cuando, una, cuando un hombre o una mujer trabaja en un bar y se quita la ropa. Ok, eso significa strip. Entonces todos vamos a... Si bailan por dinero, que es la verdad. Entonces... Acá vamos a poner, cuando decimos strip, no cerramos los labios. Oigan bien, strip, strip. Nosotros estamos ocupando la palabra strip. Okay, strip. There are some business workshops down the street. Okay, thank you, Pedrina. Number three, let's see here, Abidail. Nancy, get ready for number four. Abidail, number three. The original clip is centered around my booty. Okay. The, the again? The reason. Okay. There isn't. There isn't recruitment centers around my building. Okay. Do you have the same guys? Abidail, let me ask you this. Recruitment centers, is that plural or singular? Um, plural. Recruitment centers is plural, okay. Why do you use there is? There is is singular. Teacher, pero mm -hmm. eh, yo trabajé con, con Jenny. Este, mm -hmm. pero recruitment es reclutamiento. Lo, o sea, o ahí fue la confusión de nosotros a ver por la mm -hmm. palabra recruitment. Mm -hmm. Recruitment centers. Centers. Centros de reclutamiento. Uh -huh. Centros. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Ah, pues sí, creo que ahí nos confundimos. Don't worry. Aquí todos nos vamos a confundir siempre. Don't worry. <laughs> so what's the answer? Help Abidail, Ricardo. Are you the Abidail? There are. Uh -huh. there, there, are. Are. Uh -huh. there are not recruitment centers. There are not recruitment centers around my building. Very good. Excellent job. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Es porque Let's... termina, tiene la terminal de ese, ¿verdad? Si no haría... Exactly. Exactly. It's like when we say, there are no English classes today. 
Ah, no hay clases de inglés. Right? English classes. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, let's see number four. Number four, number four. Let's try to work here, Asalia, in number four. This is difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Very good. There is no store, right? There is no store. Very good. En grupo no te siguen. Pero dice on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Ahí son dos lugares. Sí, es cierto, son dos lugares. Pero les decía al hotel grupo que era solamente el sustantivo que tenemos acá. Store. Okay. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street. Ya le puedo explicar lo de los sustantivos un poco rápido. Veamos. Nelson, number five. Nelson. There are banks behind the factory I work. Okay, there are banks. Okay, how many banks? Give me a quantifier. Much. Hmm? Son muchos. Many, okay. There are okay. many banks. There are many banks behind the factory I work. Excellent job. And number one again, here, Josue. Many. Many, para lo que podemos contar. Much, para lo que no podemos contar. Okay. Josué. There is, okay. there is an Aranza building around the corner. Very good. There is an Aranza building around the corner. Excellent job. Excellent job. Questions about this, ahorita. Preguntas que tengan. Vamos. Teacher, en, yes. en la cinco, ¿sí? Uh -huh. sí, en la cinco, eh, en vez de many se puede estar algunos, ¿o no? Son. Yes, there are some banks. Ah, ok. Yes, excellent. dos palabras. Excellent. Okay. You can use, there are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. There okay, are banks. two banks behind the factory work. Okay. Very good, Sandra. Good question. Another question about this exercise. Preguntemos. Este no, sí se, ¿Por está qué bien todos los, los plurales terminan en ING? En ING. Sí. No. Morning. No. Aquí tiene la mayoría termina en S y aquí termina el otro. Building. Todos tienen alguno, porque uno así. ¿Y qué tienen otro? ¿Por qué tienen ese? No lo entiendo. O sea, no, todos no, no, tienen. No. Dígame, ¿por qué los plurales terminan en ING? Porque, ajá, tienen en común eso, que tienen siempre un ING, una palabra con ING. Es el verbo. Pero no. la 4 no tiene ING. Ajá. No. No. En este caso, eh, eh, en Eida, los plurales no es que terminen en ING. No veo ningún plural que termine en ING en este momento. No. Eh, ¿Cuál es el que mira usted, eh, en Eida? Es que creo que ella dice marketing sí. and building. Ah, oh, sí, sí. marketing and building. No. Esos no son, no son en sí eh, plural, son palabras ya que se escriben de esa forma, pero no son esa marketing y building no me está diciendo que son plurales. Marketing solamente me está diciendo que es mercadeo, ¿ok? Building edificio, pero no me está diciendo en ningún momento que es plural. Me dice un, vamos a saber que un nombre es plural o singular when we have the following. And I'm going to show you here. Okay. okay. We have plurals and we have singulars, okay? In the plurals, oops, sorry. 
plural nouns. First, you can count them. Okay, number two. Usually, they end with yes, S or I E S. Esas son las terminaciones de los plurales, right? So plural nouns, you can count them. Usually they end with S, S or I E S, right? And we also have irregular plural nouns. Okay. Esas son tres formas de los plurales. Plural nouns, you can count them. For example, number one. One. Okay, one hundred cell phones. Okay. Este, lo estoy, me está ayudando a contarlos. ¿Cuántos teléfonos? One hundred. Cien. Right. Acá tenemos el ejemplo que la palabra cell phone, para hacerla plural, le agregamos la S, ¿ok? Number two. We have, for example, words like um, computer, singular. Computers, plural. ¿Ok? Then we have a student. One student. Students in singular, right? So there are many words that will end with ES, S, or IES. Veamos. Number three, we have irregular plural nouns. With irregular plural nouns, in singular, we have child, one, one child. Plural, okay. We have another one. We have foot, right, foot, un pie, right, foot. Singular, foot, plural, feet, okay, foot, feet. Then we have the, this right here, one, one. tooth. Perdón, teacher, okay. tendría que ser one foot, un pie. Yes, one foot. One feet? No. No. One foot, no. two feet. Foot es... No. Foot is singular. Feet is plural. How many, how many foots do you have? I have two feet. Okay. Cuando usted está hablando de un pie, dice foot. Cuando está hablando de los dos, dice fit. Me duele el pie. My foot hurt. Me duelen los pies. My feet hurt. Perdón, pero el, está hablando de los pies, pero también ese pie no es en las medidas de, digamos, de un metro. No. Pie, dos pies. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Ahorita esto estamos hablando de plural y singular. Okay, estamos hablando de las partes del cuerpo. Then we go here, tooth, one, teeth, all of them. Two, three, four teeth. Okay, y así van. Siempre, estos solo son ejemplos. Hay muy, muy, muchísimos más que podemos ver. Okay, muchísimos más. What I want you to understand is that with plural nouns, we need to be very careful. Okay, there are many rules that we need to follow. Right. With singular nouns, it's easy. Right. Con los singulares, solo vemos, por ejemplo, que decía, el que decía eh, Eneida, building, oops, sorry, que loco escribí, building, singular. What is the plural? Buildings. Solo agregamos la S. Ok. Building, okay. buildings. Okay. Y no es porque termine en ING que va a ser plural. Okay. Va a ser plural al momento que nosotros querramos que se diga plural. 
Okay. Siempre, siempre y cuando sea un noun, un sustantivo. Siempre y cuando sea un noun. Tenemos que tomar en cuenta que hay verbos que los vamos a usar, el nivel 2, 3, no me recuerdo, que van a terminar en ing, pero son verbos, no son nouns. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo. Sé que no. Por ejemplo. Sí, sé... Por ejemplo, when I use the verb cry. I am crying. I am crying now. I am crying now. Crying es un verbo. Está funcionando como un verbo. No lo puedo decir I am crying. Eso jamás va a pasar porque es un verbo, no es un noun. ¿Ok? Es el verbo de la oración. El verbo acá sería I'm crying. Subject, verb, yes, complement. ¿Ok? Crying, llorando. Estoy llorando. I am crying. Entonces, después ustedes van a tener cuidado de fijarse que los verbos no se pluralizan así como esto. ¿Ok? Los verbos ya tienen su forma plural con, cuando estamos en simple present, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Plural y singular. Ok, please copy this information, take a screenshot. And now the question, Asalia, what is your question? Asalia? Asalia? Se durmió. Se durmió la sala. Ok. Dice que, o sea, no todos llevan S, dice, mandó ahí un mensaje. Ah, oh, no, no todos. No todos llevan S. Oh. A friends is a good example, Nancy, very good. Very good. Ok. Sí, no vale, todo gracias. van a llevar ese siempre. Por ejemplo, children, así como uh -huh. es ahí, children, ese ya es plural. No vamos a decir, uh -huh. yo tenía el problema que decía children's y siempre me regañaba. Ok. Entonces, esa no esa era mi duda. Esa uh -huh. era mi duda. No, no todos llevan ese. Los uh -huh. irregulares okay. se van a escribir de otra forma. Y esos solo son tres ejemplos, hay como mil. So don't okay. worry. Ok. okay. Now, let me show you here. Well, Did you copy this information? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. yes Very good. Let me call the attendance because it's 10 p.m. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Angela de Jesus Present. Santa Maria. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Asalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Present. Claudia Janet Ramos de Hernández. Present, teacher. Hello. <laughs> David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. <laughs> Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Qué lindo. <laughs> Franco Damián Vázquez. Present teacher. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Leida Azucena Sorto Cuadra. Leida. Se fue la ley. Mira. Nancy María <ríe> Serrano Chacón. Ese. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Pedrina Ileana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenque Aventura. I'm here. Ok, André. Eh, André. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Present teacher. En Josué, José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Okay. Present teacher. Tomorrow we are going to make, porque eso solo fue un medio pincelazo que le di de los nouns. Mañana vamos a ver un poquito más de eso para que practiquemos, ¿ok? Vamos a practicar Teacher, con los ¿Hasta nouns? cuánto sí. tenemos para, para terminar las actividades de esta semana? Jueves, <risa> El jueves. Si no termina el jueves, se queda con cero. Lo siento mucho. ¡No! Y el ¿También? examen también. <risa> todo. Todo, toda la plataforma finalizada. Vaya a trabajar, no se preocupe. O sea. <risa> la noche <risa> joven. Bye, bye, guys. Have a beautiful night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, bye. 8 p.m. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.